because it is so easy. There are many people in this world who are carrying their own burdens. What did Jesus say to such religious people? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Jesus said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. When the Bible says, For God so loved the world, how far does this so reach? God loved the world so much that he handed over to the world his beloved only begotten Son, so that we might come to believe without any effort on our own part. He made it so easy for us to believe. But when I think of all the many people who aren't able to go to heaven precisely because it's so easy, it sends my head swimming. Jesus said, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Countless people build up their store of good deeds and enthusiasm, but in the end God will tell them to depart from him, and he will drive them far away. Why do you think this is? These people will have missed one important fact, one very simple truth. When a child is born, does it contribute to the process in any way? What does a child do as it's born from its mother's womb? Is the child's effort or strength needed? Nothing at all is required of the child, is it? The only strength that is needed is that of the mother. The child can do nothing. It may kick around a bit while it's in the womb, but it doesn't have the strength to help in the course of its own birth. What does all this show us? God established these laws to govern the process of human birth. We also become children of God in much the same way. And the Bible tells us that this isn't possible through man's strength. It says in Job, If thou be righteous, what givest thou him? Or what receiveth he of thine hand? Thy wickedness may hurt a man as thou art, and thy righteousness may profit the son of man. And in Isaiah it says, All our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Our own righteousness is like old rags. No matter how good we may be in human terms, we can't attain God's standards. Such goodness is only necessary within human society. It has nothing to do with being born into the kingdom of God. Neither human effort nor human strength is needed when an individual is born as a son of God.